Hi, I'm Rabbi Brian. I'm glad you're watching this edition of This Rabbi on That Rabbi. This discussion right now is going to be about heaven. I'm glad you're watching. When it comes to famous rabbis, there's really only one. I'm Rabbi Brian and I welcome you. This Rabbi on That Rabbi. Hi, I'm Rabbi Brian, religion outside the box. Heaven. It's a, quite a large concept, heaven. And it doesn't matter if you believe in heaven or not. It behooves you to think, what does this idea mean to a group of people who seemed obsessed with heaven? There was, the people of the ancient Near East had heaven on their minds. What did they understand by this? And then, what can we use the idea of heaven to mean in our lives. Let's start with the ancient Near East. The ideology of heaven. How did heaven come to be a place? In the beginning books of the Bible, there was just, there was the earth, and there was water below, and water above, the firmaments above. How did the firmaments above become a destination that became a place called heaven where the good would be rewarded and the wicked punished. Is this even what Jesus and his contemporaries were thinking about? Well, let's look at it for a moment. Heaven as a location where God's justice would be meted out doesn't, is not required earlier in books of the Bible. God didn't have this no, the, the reputation of being everywhere and all good. Well, once those ideas were firmly in everyone's mind, then we have a problem of theodicy, of how do bad things happen to good people? And how, can the, how will the good people get rewarded? When will they get their turn? Heaven probably came up around the time of the Maccabees, this idea of a life after death where God would be rewarding and punishing. The Maccabees suffered so many martyrs, so many people who died for the cause of what was right, and how could that make any sense? The Egyptians would bury, the Maccabees were around the year uh, 132 BCE. They were revolting against the Greeks, and they didn't do very well. They were, they were crushed. And how do you deal with God being God and our team not winning. So an idea of the afterlife, which was prevalent in many cultures in the ancient Near East. After all, we know the Egyptians would bury their loved ones with possessions to take into a land, the next land. But this isn't what Jesus was talking about. Jesus wasn't talking about a location. Jesus wasn't talking about the firmament. All of the, the gospel writers, they were talking about the kingdom of heaven, which was used interchangeably with the kingdom of God. The kingdom of heaven was, I think, was Matthew. I'm getting a nod from off screen, so thank you, Larry. <laughs> My friend Larry's helping. The kingdom of heaven was Matthew's way of referring to the kingdom of God. It was this idea that heaven wasn't a place that you would get to. And it even says, um, Luke, in the Gospel of Luke and then in the Gospel of Thomas, it says, the kingdom of God is in your mists. That's in Luke 17, 21. That the kingdom of God is within. And that's in the Gospel of Thomas. That the, that the kingdom of God is not somewhere else to get to. Rather, it is someplace within. And if we have that mystical experience, if we see that the kingdom is within, in, in other religious language, if we are born of spirit, if we are born again, if we have a mystical experience, then we will be in the kingdom of heaven. There's this uh, question, and it's in, in the Lord's Prayer, which is famous throughout all of Christendom. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And it's a question and answer. Thy kingdom come, when is thy kingdom coming? It's when your will is being done. And when is that will being done? And this is a Jewish notion, a very Jewish notion, that heaven on earth, we don't wait for the Messiah. We don't wait for somebody else to fix this world. But we fix this world. 
And when will it be heaven on earth? When we see that it's heaven on earth, when we make this heaven on earth, when we feed the poor, clothe the naked, when we, when we take care of those who are in need, that's when we see heaven on earth. That's what, that's what Jesus is talking about. That's this notion in the Bible, this notion of, of feeling peacefulness, of feeling salvation in the sense that we feel sa- a salve, we feel calmed. That's the heaven that we're going for. Not that we're going to get a room upgrade in the world to come, but that our experience in this life will be ever more blessed. Next episode of This Rabbi on this, That Rabbi, we'll talk about the Bible. I thank you again for watching. I'm Rabbi Brian. Next episode, the Bible. Hi, this is Rabbi Brian in post-production. I want to encourage you to get a copy of my friend Martin Root's book, Heaven on Earth. It has three simple questions that will help you to figure out how you now can help to make this heaven on earth. It's a beautiful read. I love Martin, and I'm sure you'll love his book. While you're here, search on over to rotb.org. Find out about newsletters, podcasts, and more. There's also the spiritual fitness self-assessment, a very simple test you can take to see how spiritually fit you are. Thank you so much. I'm Rabbi Brian.